had coffee in months. Good morning guys. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. So you join me in the bathroom and I'm just gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna wash my face, show you guys what I use on my face, makeup. We're gonna get ready together, chit chat about some things. And then I think I need, <laughs> definitely, to put away all of my Easter decor. It is still all out and I wanna get the totes and put everything away. So that's what we were doing today. And it is one of those days where, as you saw, I started my morning off with some hot coffee. I had my first cup of hot coffee for the first time in probably two months, if I had to guess. And I'm doing okay so far. I don't have a terrible abdominal pain. And I'm on to my second cup because it is one of those days where I need, oh my gosh, I need a lot. Two nights in a row of no sleep <laughs> and it's catching up to me but that's fine i'm sure you guys can tell i look so i don't know maybe i don't i feel really tired so the coffee was a nice 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 touch liam's already back down for a nap it's 9 a.m like if that tells you something that tells you something he woke up he skipped breakfast <laughs> he just had some milk and he started fussing and i was like oh dude you're ready to go back to sleep so he's back in sleep back to sleep and i said if he goes back to sleep, mama's going back to sleep, but I don't have time for that. I think we all say that half the time. It's like, yes, if, if they'll take a nap, I'm gonna take a nap, but we don't have time for that, so. Mm. Cheers to hot coffee. Oh, it's been, oh. Guys, it's been a while. So anyways, let's get on to like skincare. Um, this is the products that I use every single day. So the first thing, I'm just gonna dampen my face, obviously, and then we're gonna go in with my cleanser. This is the best cleanser of all time. I've been using it solid for years. And it's the Pure Skin Face Cleanser by First Aid Beauty. This does an amazing job of getting rid of like all the makeup, but at night I do go in with an oil-based cleanser and I use the Take the Day Off Balm. But for the morning, I don't need this obviously, so we're just gonna go straight in with a cleanser. Also, these are incredible. It stops all the water from running down and getting your sleeves wet and dripping all over the floor. I'll link them, they're on Amazon. And a little goes a long way with this cleanser. Like you literally just need a tiny pea size amount. All right. I love this stuff. It's the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Gold complex vitamin C and collagen. Super nice under eye cream because we all need some brightening. I definitely do. I have the world's darkest circles. I've always had them. I remember my parents asking me when I was a teenager and I remember always being so like offended. <laughs> my dad would be like, do you have a black eye? I'm like, no dad, I'm just tired <laughs> as a teenager. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. But no, I have just been blessed and inherited dark circles from somebody. I don't know who because neither of my parents have them. Um, I'm also going to go in with this really quick, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I saw they were having a sale not that long ago and they had a limited edition cotton candy one. And by the time I found out it was all sold out, I was so disappointed because I love this. Great for after you do your morning skincare. Amazing to put on after you do your evening skincare. Uh, but I really wanted that cotton candy one. I have the mint. I think it's peppermint. Yeah. Peppermint and vanilla. Love them both. We're going to go in with our vitamin C. This is the Olay Serums Vitamin C Plus Peptide 24 Brightening Serum. This has not broken me out. It does have a mild scent, which you guys know I'm not a fan of, but I really like the serum. So it's doing well with my skin. Not burning or doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna put that on like so. Oh, I forgot my toner. Sometimes I'll use this and not wash my face in the morning. Um, so sometimes I'll go in with this milky, I think that's the other, this side, um, like a milky toner. I got this at Target and that's really nice. Um, oh, my moisturizer, we need our moisturizer. This is my all time favorite. It's the La Roche Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. I have gone through probably like 10 of these, if not more. I've been using it for a very long time. I remember the first tube I got, let me know if you guys remember. It was back at um, the old house. 
I tried it for the first time and it was gritty. Like it had a gritty texture and I was like, this cannot be right because it just cannot be right. And it definitely wasn't right. Something was wrong with that bottle because none of mine have ever been like that. It's just such a really nice, gentle, not firming, not tightening, just like a super perfect moisturizer, unscented, very, very nice. Lays very nice under makeup too, so you don't have to worry about that. And then once that sits for a few minutes, um, I go in with the Kiehl's Better Screen UV Serum Sunscreen. This is a new product. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to try this. I'm very finicky with my sunscreens. If they're scented, I don't like it. If, you know, a lot of them can tend to break me out, which is why I, I have I, any drugstore one I will break out from. This one is amazing. So it's like, it's like skincare and a sunscreen combined. So it has collagen peptide in it and it helps visibly correct fine lines, uneven skin tone and dull skin. Guys, it's amazing. It still smells like a sunscreen. A little goes a very long way and it doesn't have that white cast. It's invisible. Like you can't tell you're putting it on. And even if you just wore this to the beach, it leaves like a very, not a glowy tan look, but a very dewy glowy in a nice way kind of effect. So I do like a pump and a half. Um, I don't plan to be outdoors at all today. I plan to be inside all day today. I've got grandpa here, but um, if I was going outdoors, I'd probably do two full pumps. But anyways, this is just the nicest sunscreen ever. I'm obsessed with it. Like, look at this. It doesn't leave a white cast. Um, so this is my everyday morning skincare routine. I will leave all the products with links down below for you guys in case you wanna check them out. But So now I'm just gonna let it sit for a few and then we're gonna go on with our makeup and chit chat. I have some exciting news. That's fun. Get this all put away. All right, that is good enough. And then I'll use the same towel for my makeup brushes and I'm gonna get you set up over there. And we have to do our hair. I should do my hair too. I'll do that after makeup. First things first, we're gonna go in with our concealer. I watched, cause I was really inspired to watch like, which is so weird, but I feel like my skin has changed and my face has changed just like since having a baby and just aging in general. Um, and I'm like, I wanna see how I did my makeup like six years ago. So I found a YouTube video of me doing my makeup like five, six years ago. And I remember saying in this video, cause I just watched it and I just wanted to see, I was like, you don't need a lot of mascara or um, a lot of concealer, just a little. And I went in and like did the full like eye coverage. Remember when that was the thing? And I was like, girl, you're saying you don't need a lot. That was a lot. But that was the times. That was the times when we used to do like the full on triangle under the eyes. And I used to go in with concealer followed by a heck of a lot of powder foundation but I also had a ton of acne scarring so it's just crazy how you know you apply makeup by like trends and like what is going on but also how you apply it based on what your skin is going through and I've just really cut back because if you look at that now that is a little <laughs> a little goes a long way um I still put concealer around my nose, which I did in that video. I said I did not put it in the middle of my forehead because I was very oily and it would break up on me. I don't have that problem anymore because probably aging. Um, a little bit on my chin, which I also did. And then anywhere to conceal spots, which I still do. Um, actually, they're leftover scars still from like that time. Like that's how long it has taken. I forgot to wet my sponge. I have to do that really quick. Still a sponge girl. There we go. Sponge is damp now. Okay, so yeah, it was just funny to see like what I was saying and how I did my makeup and it's just so cute to see. God, I was such a baby in that video too. I'm gonna go in with some MAC Ooh. Fix Plus just to kind of help things blend essentially. So happy news, happy news this morning. I officially started my period. And so you guys like have a date and a timeline and can follow along with me. Actually, technically it's not my period yet. I'm spotting. So when it comes to IVF and that whole world, the fertility clinic wants to know as soon as you start bleeding, but it can be really confusing because you're like, oh, I'm spotting, I started my period. Technically spotting does not count. So they want you to be on a full flow. Like as soon as it is red, red, not just spotting, that is when it starts. But of course, of course, guys, this happens on a Saturday when they're probably not there. 
So I reached out this morning and I said, hey, I'm spotting. I know this is not considered like full flow yet, but I just wanted to let you know. And based on like my cramps and how I'm feeling, I have a feeling that my period is going to arrive at some point today. Now, with past experience, if your period starts at like a certain time of day, you'll start your shots on one day. But if it starts at like after 2 p.m., then you start shots the next day. So I'm like trying to figure out like when it's gonna start. I'm super excited for this guys, like, which is crazy because at first I wasn't obviously because I got that news about like, you know, we had the egg retrieval and I just really didn't think that we would have to have another egg retrieval. Um, but I'm past that now, I've healed past that. And now I'm just excited. And I even feel like last time I was more of like nervous, very anxious because it had been such a long time since I had an embryo, or not an embryo, an egg retrieval surgery. It was like 2020, 2021, 2021 time, I think. I don't know, like before Liam. So it had been a long time. So I wasn't familiar, familiar with how to do the shots and I was like overwhelmed. Whereas this time I just finished that, there is a new shot added to the mix, but I think it will all be okay. And I'm really looking forward to this journey. I am a little nervous also because it is gonna probably fall on a Saturday. I wonder when I'll have to do my shots. I think I'll probably, cause again, they're gonna be closed on the weekend. So I'm gonna have to order them, um, hopefully Monday. And hopefully that will all be okay. I have a fun trip planned for Larry and I, and um, Liam is gonna be having some Nana and grandpa time. They have a fun thing planned. So they're gonna be doing their thing. And Larry and I are gonna sneak away for a day. So. I have that coming up next week, so I'm gonna probably have to be bringing my shots with me. Um, and I, I might, the way it's lining up, I might have my first appointment the same day as our day trip. So that will be exciting. It's just like exciting things to look forward to. I'm ready and I'm very much looking forward to it. I know a lot of you guys have been like, did you start yet? What's going on? Are you still trying for baby number two? Yes, we are. We were just waiting for my period. I feel like that took forever to come as well. Uh, did I tell you guys what I was using on my skin? I just used the um, Tarte Radiant Concealer and then the Fit Me Translucent. Now I'm gonna go in with this palette. Any bronzer will do. I saw in that video too, that old bouncing off of topic here, that old video of me doing my makeup, I was using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I loved that bronzer and I'm like, why did I stop using it? So now I wanna go to like, Target or somewhere and find that butter bronzer by Physicians Formula and start using it again because I loved it. It is so creamy. The one thing I didn't love about it though, especially during that time, which is probably why I stopped using it because my acne was so bad. Um, for me, for me, it was bad. I don't want to like say that and um, hurt anybody's feelings or anything, but it was, it was bad for me. I had like that hormonal cystic, like deep, acne um but anyways i think i stopped using it because it was scented and i was afraid that that was attributing attributing attributed attribute attributing oh my gosh is that the right word guys it's not attributing attributing i think it's just attributing something's not right there anyways i thought it was causing potentially causing or helping cause acne more acne to form Anyways, cheers to the coffee. <gasps> this is a new mug. <laughs> Are we shocked? No, probably not. I have another new mug that I wanna show you guys too. This is gonna be a long vlog, I can tell already because I'm just kinda like chilling, openly chatting with you guys. I feel like we haven't done this in a while. We're gonna go in with this pretty shade here. Or do I wanna use, no, too late now. I already dipped the brush, but I'm just gonna, oh, that went in a little heavy there, didn't it? doing the little bounce technique at the apples and going upward on the nose, little sun-kissed moment, right? I love blush. It's so funny because back in the day, I never, ever, ever used a blush, ever. Never bronzed. I'm talking when Angela and I were like <laughs> storming the world, thinking we were invincible. It's so funny when we were like 18, 19, 20, and you just think you you know it all, um, but the only thing I wore back then was black eyeliner and mascara and concealer. 
and some like powder. That was literally it. Oh no, eyeshadow. I did do like just put a shimmer on top of my eyelid and I called it a day and that was all I did. I'm actually gonna use this whole palette for everything. I'm gonna go in with this highlight. It's like a golden champagne kind of highlight and I'm just gonna put that right on my eyelids. I'm gonna keep this super basic and simple and easy today. I also feel very out of breath lately. I noticed it in the vlog that you guys saw on Saturday. I'm like, why can't I breathe when I talk? It, it reminded me of when I was pregnant with Liam when I had that issue, but I'm not pregnant, obviously. So I'm like, why can't I breathe? But I think it's because I have allergies and it has to have something to do with that because I can't breathe through my nose when I'm talking. <laughs> and I think that's what's happening. But anyway, and I am thoroughly enjoying being a brunette again. I just feel like I need to stop doing the back and forth with that and just for goodness sakes, leave your hair alone. Cause honestly, if I could give myself some advice, cause I started coloring my hair like this probably, I think I started getting highlights. My mom was letting me get highlights at some point in high school and stuff like that. I was like, can I color my hair? Can I color my hair? Actually, that's a lie. I think I got my first highlights in middle school. I begged and begged and begged and she was finally like, okay fine um but I asked for it all wrong and I ended up with like blonde streaks because that's what I told the hairstylist I was like I want blonde streaks in my hair um and she quite literally gave me thick tiger stripe I cried and I came back from spring break and I remember my teacher being like what happened to you because I also used like a ton of fake tan I was in that like moment you <laughs> And I turned myself orange. So I was orange with these thick blonde tiger stripes. It was like, wow, spring break really got to this girl. Uh, it was a whole vibe. I love revisiting childhood moments like that. It's just so fun. Oh, we're gonna try the telescopic mascara. I love it. It's so good. So you guys are gonna see that in action today. And I do wanna get the waterproof one. So again, oh, what did I just say that I wanted to get from Target? Oh, the Butter Physicians Formula. Maybe we'll go to Target, probably not today in this vlog. Um, but maybe for Wednesday's vlog. No, because this is Monday's vlog, because um, it's Sunday. Is it Sunday or Saturday? Good God, it's Saturday. Maybe on Monday, I'll run up there and we'll pick out some stuff and we'll go from there. Just filling in the brows lightly. We're gonna, I've been doing a combo with the brow gel, like what I'm putting in my brows and I'm really liking it so far. I feel like it's the best combination of both. I feel like one is too intense and then the other one for me is like too liquidy, but together these two are incredible, which is really unnecessary, but the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze and then the Unbelieva Brow Longwear Top Coat. Like this is amazing. I like how watery it is, but then this is like, it's gonna freeze and separate and really define. So what I do, and again, very unnecessary, I take this, and I just dip a little bit in here. And it's like the perfect combo of both worlds. The wetness helps the wax not be so intense. They're just perfect together. It's like peanut butter and jelly, man. They're, they were meant to be. Okay. All right, there we go. Brows are done. Now let's use our telescopic mascara. I'm definitely a waterproof mascara kind of person because Lately it's been better, but I remember I always used to get like runoff no matter what I did, even though I set my under eyes and everything, I still would get that runoff. What was that? Oh, 10% off target. Is my phone listening to me? <laughs> she probably is. You know they are guys. Can we just talk about that for a minute? Because I will be talking about a conversation and suddenly I get an ad for that thing, like on Instagram, I'll get an ad and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even type it in. I didn't search it. All I did was talk about it. And somehow then I get ads for that product. And I'm like, these things are crazy. The technology these days is going wild. It's leaving me behind, I feel like. Does anybody else feel like that? Like, I feel like we're just at the cusp, like one day this technology is gonna fly by us. And I feel like we're gonna be that generation that might be like out of touch. Like think of Liam's generation, right? They're gonna be so like further along in advance than we are. And he's gonna be explaining things to me and I'm gonna be like, what in the world? 
But I think that is how it goes with almost every generation, you know, look at grandpa and then my parents, like every generation advances further and further. And I feel like we live in a world where it's either like, you're torn between two things. You either join it and keep up or it's just too overwhelming, too much. And you decide, you know what? No. And you, you don't, you don't get involved. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be that old lady one day. That's like, you know what? I am tired of it. Take me to the mountains with my family, with peace and quiet and nature. Like that is my dream. That is my love. That is my life. Oh, I just love it so much. And beach, like I'm getting into the beachy scenes guys. Like I am really loving beach decor. I don't ever like beach decor. I am a Ohio Northern native individual. And I've seen some really pretty beachy pictures and I'm just like, oh, I love that. And if I had <laughs> the money to like buy a house on the beach, I would, which I definitely could not afford. That is never gonna happen. Um, well, never say never, seldom say always. That's what Larry always reminds me every time I do that. But I'm like in between, do I want <laughs> a beach house or do I want a mountain house? I mean, I would love both, right? But again, a girl can dream. That's just my dream, guys. That's that's not, not in a reality at all. But I'm just thankful to have a house in general with a wooded view. Like, thankful to have a home and a roof over top of my head for sure. But there's nothing wrong with dreaming, okay? So now we're going to go in with just some highlights. So this is like gone. I'm like holding on to it, but... That's the blush. Now, where is my, here it is. Or is this the golden one? I think that's the golden highlight. Where is the champagne one? <gasps> oh, here it is. Okay, I love this highlight. So these are the Beauty Light Wands, easy highlight. I just am so obsessed with this. This is in the shade Spotlight. It's amazing. Put a little bit on the tip of my nose. A little bit on the Cupid's bow. That was a lot more than a little bit. So y'all go watch this in like 10 years and be like, girl, you said that was a little, that's a lot. <laughs> I just feel like as you age, your makeup application really changes, like how much you apply, where you apply. You know, it's true, like our faces just change. Anyways, how long have I, oh, this is already 30 minutes and we still need to put away decor and we still need to do our hair. So this is like a full on every day, get ready with me. I'm gonna brush our hair back. See, I used this wax stick in my hair the other day, yesterday, and it's making it look, ugh. I do not like it, oily horrible they don't understand we'll do a center to look in the mirror guys hold on okay we got our part beautiful all right and then we're just gonna come up in the back and just start bringing it up and back literally not make it difficult just just a simple we are bringing it back gathering all our hair up, keeping it out of our way. We have toddler to take care of. We have 80 degree weather day coming today, followed by a 90 degree day coming this week. Holy moly, I was like, goodness, summer is coming, Larry. We best be ready for her when she does. Larry was like, the South remembers. <laughs> so the South does remember. It's like Game of Thrones twist there. All right, so this is how I get like this sleek kind of part look. Now this is how, instead of just using a claw clip, how you get yourself to have like a bun still. So we're gonna take it like this. And then you're gonna pull it almost through. You're gonna leave yourself like this little um, bun moment. And then you're gonna pull it down Kind of shape it but my hair is straightened so that's actually it's not straightened it's just kind of straight and then we're going to take the claw and just kind of grab it and that's how you end up with like best of both worlds so it's not as tight and you have the claw clip still it's easy it's just how you get it to look higher and more elevated so you can either slick this back or pull it out like whatever you want to do all right guys that's like my everyday and we are calling it done. Now, I need to ask Larry if he can help me find the, um, the 
boxes for the Easter decor so I can get that put away. Should we go with pearls today? I like the white pearls. I'm gonna use those. And then we'll start putting Easter stuff away. Listen to some classical music. Gramps loves classical. I love classical, so that will be nice. I hope you guys enjoyed like this very casual, low key, get ready with me. Have our opal ring, our wedding ring, and then our necklace. Perfect. Should I put on my Apple Watch? I think I need to put tape on the back side of my Apple Watch. I told you guys that it shattered the other day um, in the back. So I think I have to take it to an Apple store to get it fixed. I don't think they'll just fix it at, you know, your phone company. They're really funny about doing anything with apples. I feel like you just, you always have to go to an iPhone or an Apple store to get anything Apple related fixed. I know it was like that for me when my laptop was having issues. Best Buy never wanted to fix it. They were like, sorry, we tried. You got to go to Apple. And I'm like, okay. But I'm like thinking about just putting some tape as a barrier so that the shattered glass doesn't like cut the underside of my wrist because that would be horrendous. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for getting ready with me. Now let's, let's start, um, cleaning up essentially and getting rid of all of the Eastery spring decor, although it is still spring, but we're gonna take all of that down. Did I put on Dio for the VO? I don't think I did. Let's do that really quick. And then we are set. All right. Okay. Does this look weird hanging down and back here? Probably. I'll twist that up and tuck it in. All right, let's go guys. I already started to like gather and collect things around the house and then put them on the shelves. So the shelves are like pretty full. And then Larry just got two of the bins for me. So I'm gonna show you what we're working with. We're gonna take it all down together. Is all of your Easter decor down or do you still have it up? Let me know. But here's what ours is looking like. So Liam, when he wakes up, it's gonna be pretty much gone. He's gonna be like, what the heck? So we have all of this pastel stuff going on. This side is not as heavy. It's like everything got put on this one. So I'm just gonna set you guys up and we're gonna start taking it down. And then this piece by the front door, I am so debating on leaving it there because it's like, it's springy, right? But it still does kind of have like the Easter pops because of the eggs. Yeah, I should probably just, Ugh how empty that looks now. Obviously we have to reconfigure that. I don't mind the look of empty though. Um, let's see, we'll put this in the middle. And then maybe the candle here, Something like that. This needs to be cleaned out. There's like a fan in here. Oh, these are stuff that, okay. Well, we'll organize that later, but Yeah, we need to take that atrocious big clunk out of that basket because I feel like it's killing the vibe. But that looks better. Very simple. I just put on a cozy spring ambiance so that we have that going on in the background. You know, anytime there's a holiday or anything like that, as soon as you put everything away for the season, it's like, holy crap, it looks so empty and big. Um, it's gonna feel like that when we're done. But here is the ambiance that I picked. I love, I just love the YouTube spring ambiance stuff or any ambiance. Look how cozy that looks. Now we can all pretend and imagine that we're all sitting here having some morning coffee, looking out at the water, seeing the sunrise. Oh, it's just beautiful. And there's even a waterfall. <laughs> Grandpa, isn't that pretty? It is actually. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Thanks for finding me the boxes. Oh, you're welcome. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. And there's a kitty on there too. I see the kitty. All right, let's set this up, shall we? I'm pulling these fairy lights off yeah. that I have like massively wrapped into that.
done. Now I need to just dust, reorganize things because it looks really funny. And then all of the candles are dead. So I need to take all the batteries out of those and then replace them with fresh batteries so that we can have the ambiance back. That is a sharp pencil. Look at that pencil. Is it going to focus? I don't know. Probably not. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> Was a gift from one of you guys in the P.O. box. So beautiful. Larry has just informed me that we have enough for two, like enough batteries for two of the candles because they each take three AAA batteries. So we're going to need to shop for some batteries in the next video and then finish the ambiance lighting. idea. You guys remember the print that I picked up at Marshall's that looks very beautiful, has the little yellow birds on it with the bees and everything. I have not found a home for it still. And I thought, what if I can put it on one of those shelves? So we're going to give that a try. See how it looks. I need to take off ooh, the plastic protective corners, but it's this print. So first, before we take those off, let's see if it'll fit in the up here. My eyes burn, man. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's gonna fit or not. Ow, ow, ow. As I almost sliced myself. Oh, no. No, ma'am. <laughs> Dang it. I thought that that would have been so pretty back against that wall, but that is not gonna fit. I thought you were gonna hang that in the guest room. No, I wanna see it. <laughs> It'd be nice for guests to see it. <laughs> It's so beautiful. I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it. Where am I going to put it? Hmm. Oh. 